Hello and Happy New Year's everybody, as I Seth again with another video, and if you're new to this series, or new to the channel, or whatever, this is a series I try to be consistent with every single year after New Year's. I've done, I can't believe how many of these I've done, it all started with 2011 to 2012, and now it's 2017 to 2018. It's kind of crazy to think about how many of these videos I've done, but I always try to be really consistent with these videos because this is kind of like a video series for myself to kind of recap and look back on to kind of bring you all along for the ride with my journey in life and everything that kind of goes on on my end of the spectrum. So what exactly am I going to talk about in this video? Well, what this series is about is me talking about the previous year that just happened, so in this case 2017, and talking about my thoughts, hopes, dreams, aspirations, and everything coming up for the new year that's coming, which in this case is 2018. So as of recording this, it is about 2.30 in the morning, right after New Year's. So New Year's just happened several hours ago, and I just kind of do this because I kind of want to get everything fresh and kind of start the new year this way and just kind of give you guys my immediate thoughts happening. It's just some kind of weird little tradition I've done, and there's only been a couple of years that I haven't done it this way because of other reasons that happen, but yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and start the conversation and the topic about 2017. So every year I always kind of feel like I don't know what I'm going to talk about, and this year was no exception. I, I'm like, what am I even going to say about this year that just happened? And as I kind of rehearsed it to myself and kind of thought back about what I was going to say, at first I didn't think there was going to be a lot of things to say, but honestly there was a lot that happened this year. It was a pretty crazy and hectic year and I feel like it just started but it's already over, and so I, I feel like I didn't really do a whole lot. I, I, I felt like I was so scared at the beginning of last year, and I feel like last year was kind of the same thing, where I didn't really have much to say, and there wasn't really much that I felt like that there was needed to be done, but it was going to be a crazier anyways. It's, it's really hard to explain my thought process behind it, but thinking back on it, there was a whole lot of stuff that happened. There was a lot of huge things that happened and trying to think back on it all, it was just like, wow, it happened so quickly, it just kind of ran by in front of me. So what were these huge, amazing, spectacular events? Well, the year started off, once again, with me going to school, as I have been doing, and uh, I ended up not graduating at the time that I thought. I thought I was going to be done in the spring, but it turned out I had another semester to do after that, and the crappy part was I only had about five semester hours to go, so I ended up taking a couple of one-credit hour classes, as well as my final graphic design course I needed in order to graduate with my degree in informatics. So the whole big thing that happened leading up to the end of this year was I finally graduated. Every year I've had one of these videos that's been a big problem that's kind of plagued my life a little bit is am I going to be going back to school? How am I going to get through school? School is stressful. School's great. I can't wait to go back. It sucks being here. And it's incredible to think that ever since I started the series, I've kind of just always been in school. But I'm finally done. It's finally over with. And I'm proud of myself to say that I got through it. And I did it on my own terms. Because I did it completely debt free. Because it took me for about eight years. I'm 26 now. And I started college when I graduated high school. And I took a couple years off here and there saved up money and I took more time than I thought getting through school but I got through it and I got through it doing it on my own terms and it's crazy to think that I'm through school finally it's almost still surreal that I can't believe it because it's been something I've been in for so long and yeah it took me a really long ass time longer than it should have to get through school but I did it my way and, and I'm happy that I did it that way and I did it yeah, I, I, I screamed and I cried and I yelled at the top of my lungs and there were great times and horrible times but there were experiences that I would never trade for the world and I'm so glad that I did it. And I can't believe that it's, it's finally over and even though there were parts of school that I really hated and I hated that I had to struggle through it for so long and that there were experiences where I felt like the school was screwing me over and I had to stay for longer and it sucked and I had to quit going to school on two different occasions and work to save money, it was all completely worth it, in my opinion, because not even so much for the degree. The degree was great, and yeah, I can't wait to start like my new life, and my life feels like it's just beginning, but there are people that I've met and there are experiences that I've had that I'm so glad and thankful for. I can't even begin to express the number of people that have helped me. Family, friends, 
random people in my classes that have supported me or helped me on homework throughout the years. If anybody is watching this that has helped me throughout these years, you guys know who you are. And without you, I definitely wouldn't be where I am and I wouldn't be as sane as I am now and I wouldn't have as great and as me awesome, wonderful people. I can't even begin to describe it, but you guys have impacted my life in more ways than in more ways than you'll ever know. But yeah, school's finally over. And I might return someday, who knows? I was technically double majoring in informatics and art, and informatics is sort of like a computer science-esque field, but less program heavy and less math heavy, but it also does, uh, focused more on design, so I took a lot of design classes, and my field of study was, of course, art, because that's kind of like a thing I'm somewhat good at. My voice just cracked like a 12-year-old, but you know how things go. <laughs> but it was stressful being in my computer classes and fun being in my art classes, and in both of my kind of sets of classes, I learned great things that I am really scared to go into the workforce with because I never feel like I'm going to be good enough at what I did, but I'm just glad to be out, and I'm glad to be done, and I'm glad to kind of move forward and go on with my life. But yeah, 2017 just really kind of flew by, and I never feel like I have enough time to say all the things that I want when I actually start talking about it, and I feel like I'm always forgetting things, and that this year is no exception. This year was just crazy how it just kind of went by, and it was really focused on school and getting done with that. Now that I'm done, it's like, I don't know what to do next, and that's where 2018 comes in. So 2018 is going to be kind of like how I felt about 2017 last year. I was kind of unsure and kind of scared and wasn't really sure where I was going to go. But instead of going into 2018 with uncertainty like I did with 2017, I'm going into it with my head held high and proud of myself that I've made it this far and I'm as happy as I have been. And I'm going to kick its ass as best as I can. And in previous years, I would kind of go on this roller coaster of emotions where it was like, I was up one year, this year was great, this year sucked, this year was great. In the last couple years, I've just been kind of going through, just kind of rolling with the punches, not focusing too much on what the future is going to bring, but focusing more on the present, because that's a problem I've always had, is focusing too much on what's going to happen instead of what's happening now. But 2018, I'm looking forward to kind of taking on and moving on with my life. I'm finally done with school officially, and I, and I know that I'm done with it, and I can kind of move on. and get a job, a career, and just kind of start my life. And that's exciting, but also horrifying. But I'm going into it not nervous like I was before, but instead I'm gonna go into it and try my best to kick its ass. So yeah, even though 2018 is going to be a whole lot of not knowing, that's also part of the fun, it's part of the adventure. And I'm honestly looking really forward to it. The not knowing is something that I kind of needed in my life, and it used to be something that scared me, and now it's gonna be something that I'm going to look forward to and it's something that excites me and something I want to take on and something new to accomplish. It's no longer how am I going to keep going through school, it's how am I going to progress with the rest of my life. So as corny as that sounds, it's, it's kind of cool at the same time when it's in my own shoes and my own path that I get to look forward to. And in previous years, I usually have New Year's resolutions and they I try to stray away from the typical New Year's resolutions, eat healthy and exercise. But this year, I kind of need to focus on it because the last couple months, I've really slipped off the wagon where I tried to, tried to focus more on school. I kind of stepped away from my diet and exercise to focus and get done with school. And I've kind of let myself go a little bit. So those are a couple things I need to keep in mind, but that's more in general. Health and fitness have always been a pretty big part of my life. Well, not always, but they have been for the last several years. So I need to get back on that bandwagon. But those aren't the major New Year's resolutions I want to focus on this year. Lately, I've been thinking about things that I used to do, my hobbies that I used to have, I don't really focus on too much anymore. Even as simple as Rubik's Cubes. For Christmas, I got a couple of new Rubik's Cubes and I was like, why did I ever stop doing this? This is something that I enjoyed, that was kind of a thing that I did. It's the same with my YouTube channel. I really, really miss YouTube and I don't, I've almost kind of lost my passion for it because I don't get to make the videos that I used to make, which are spray paint tutorials and helping people. And my channel's kind of reflected that. My videos slowly become stagnant and not really growing as much as it used to be and I want to return to that and I hate not being there and it's just something that I love that I miss. Same with martial arts. I did martial arts years ago and I had to stop because of school and a couple of the one credit hour courses I needed to take this last semester, one was a kickboxing class and one was Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and it made me realize 
God, I miss this so much. So that's something I really want to work on is getting back to my old habits now that my life is a little bit more free, I guess, in some way, even though it's supposed to be more hectic with a career and starting a life and everything like that. I want to get back to those things that I did before school, the things that really made me happy, those hobbies that I feel like I'm known for and that I was proud of myself for. I want to get back to those things. Another one that's kind of off topic and random, I want to swear less. Anybody that knows me in real life knows that I cuss quite a bit, probably an unhealthy amount. And that's something I kind of want to cut back on. As ridiculous as that sounds, I want to cut back on cussing. I don't have too many bad habits. I try to eat relatively healthy, except for the last couple months. I try to exercise. I try to have, you know, I try not to drink or smoke or anything. I don't really do either of those things at all. I, I don't know why I said I don't really do those. I don't do them at all. But uh, I think swearing is something that people kind of do a little bit too much, and I'm no exception. So that's something I kind of want to cut back on. Once again, I feel like I haven't said as many things as I've wanted to say thinking back on it, but I think I just need to cut it there. It's just, I took on 2017 with all I had and I feel like I accomplished it and I'm proud of the way that I did things. In 2018, I hope to be the same way. I don't want to have these roller coaster emotions like I have in previous years and I feel like I was working towards a goal and I accomplished it and now it's time to accomplish another goal and I'm really looking forward to it and excited. I'm scared at the same time because it's uncertainty, but I really can't wait to see what 2018 has for me in this next big step in my life. As always, I want to thank everybody for watching. Thank you all for staying around for the laziness that is my YouTube channel of not uploading as much, but hopefully you guys kind of understand where I'm coming from. And as always, just Happy New Year everybody, and just thanks for sticking around. I hope you all have a happy and safe New Year. And let's all take on 2018 together. Thanks.